What did you just say? You gotta be kidding. Okay. All I want you is just just to just to watch. Uh, it's only a couple of minutes. This guy explains how to do it, even though you have no clue what he's talking about. I just want uh, you to just think about this. It's calc two. Evaluate the integral of the square root of nine minus x squared over x squared dx. We will use a trigonometric substitution. Let x equal three sine theta and dx then is 3 cosine theta d theta. We'll restrict the domain of theta to make cosine of theta positive. Now, just look at the term, the square root of 9 minus x squared. That's the square root of 9 minus 9 sine squared theta. We can factor out a 9 and use the identity 1 minus sine squared theta is cosine squared theta to give us 3 cosine theta. We don't have to worry about the absolute value bars because we chose theta to make cosine positive. Now we can complete the substitution. We have that the square root of 9 minus x squared is 3 cosine theta from the previous page. We know that x squared is 9 sine squared theta. And we have that dx is 3 cosine theta d theta. So we have our integral becomes the integral of cotangent squared theta d theta. I don't have a nice formula for cotangent squared theta, the integral of that, but I do have a nice formula for the integral of cosecant squared theta. So I use the identity that the cotangent squared theta is cosecant squared theta minus 1, and then I integrate to get negative cotangent of theta minus theta plus c. Back substituting is going to give us a problem. I know that theta is the arc side of x over 3, but I don't know cotangent of theta. I know the sine of theta is x over 3, but I want to know the cotangent of theta. So what we do is we draw a triangle. Theta is the small angle, and we've drawn the triangle to make the sine of theta equal to x over 3. We can find the length of the third side of the triangle using the Pythagorean theorem. And that gives us that the side length of the third side is the square root of 9 minus x squared. Now the cotangent of theta, adjacent <laughs> over opposite, is the square root of 9 minus x squared over x. And so we're ready to complete the problem. The integral is equal to negative square root of 9 minus x squared over x, that's cotangent of, negative cotangent of theta, minus the arc sine of x over 3 plus c. And that's the, that's the answer, which is exactly what I got right here. <laughs> no wonder you're such a crazy kid, man. <laughs> you know, this is calculus too, even though you may not understand a word it was saying or so, but you know what? I understand all of that. <laughs> calculus too, it's very fun. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> that, that's much calculus or mathematics that you could have at one time. Uh, you, you, you know what? I, I don't know. I, I, I'm at a loss of good words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, my God. It's fine. Oh, my God. That, calculus you know, what, did that, what did they ever do to you, Matthew? <laughs> I didn't deserve that torture. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, oh, I think it's fun. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Well, well calculus is... Theta. The Greek... Theta is a Greek letter. Yeah. Well, you know what? Because all of this is really just... I mean, this entire thing, it's just little calculus. Most of it's algebra and trigonometry, and you're only using very little calculus in, this, in that problem. When you do the integration. <laughs> well, this is Calc 2. I'm only required for two semesters, so... <laughs> calc 1 and Calc 2. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Duck at 100 miles an hour? Give her that clean dirt. She's cleaning it up. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Right here. I wonder if you're... Oh. I don't know.
<laughs> well, signing off. I, I, <laughs> sign me up. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>